Waters presents On the Box. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another edition of On the Box. It is Monday, and what a wild weekend we it had. Was. It was. It was a wild It was a, weekend. Nor- a normal, abundant life weekend. Okay, uh, now we're going to spend most of the show talking about the weekend, but what we did Saturday, without telling, what we did Saturday, A, B, C, D, where does it fall? I think it was, well, B-pl- it, was, it was a B for me. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's not fair. You got you know, you had 35 plus. years of experience. But you had to be, you were in a different well, area. you know, some parts were B pluses. There was at least one moment that was a C minus. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say an A plus. Huh? No, no, no. No, because I wouldn't be here. Because yeah. once I go, I am not coming back. Mm-hmm. A plus is a rapture for mm-hmm. those of you who aren't familiar with our grading <laughs> schedule on open air preaching. Mm-hmm. But we are going to tell you a lot uh, today about uh, Transformed, which went very, very well. Uh, This weekend down in Oceanside, and uh, we spent a few hours down at Comic-Con in San Diego. And in and out. And that's that's what the field trip is all about. (laughs) In and out. Yes, sir. (laughs) Yes, sir. All right, but before we do that, uh, we want to announce this week's winners for last week's giveaway. Or is it last week's winners for for last week's giveaway? For this week's giveaway, because we haven't haven't given it away yet. no, no, it's gone. It's yeah, gone? Yeah, Daniel's already oh, mailed it out. Oh, we're on it, the ball it, of this place. Yeah, yeah. All right. So That's while great. I try to figure out what we're doing with that, <laughs> let me share a couple of programming notes with you. One, uh, on Thursday, the show will be on at a different time. We will be on at 10.20 a.m. Pacific time because we will be coming to you live from the Ambassadors <laughs> Academy from the Doubletree Hotel. That'll be in interesting. Anaheim. <laughs> <laughs> Brad's behind the, the <laughs> camera today. He's checking his pulse for... Multiple reasons, but yes. one of them is that he's going to be one of the team leaders, and and uh, I have, for whatever reason, way more confidence in Brad's abilities than, than Brad does. does. Yeah, and I'm the same. Knock too. it off. You are. I have great confidence in Brad. Oh yes. Okay, I thought you were. Okay. Hmm. I thought you were saying something else. Yes. So Brad's going to be one of the team leaders, and uh, he'll be leading a team as a team leader. That's what they that's do. What team do. Yeah. <laughs> bless you, Daniel. <laughs> we'll sneeze on the set. May God bless you and your, your father. All right, so anyways, uh, we will be coming to you live at 1020 on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Friday's show will be pre-recorded, uh, but it will be all new content because we're going to do uh, two shows from the Academy. One will be live, Q&A with me and Scotty, and uh, Friday's show will be a continuation of that hour-long Q&A uh, from the Academy. We can't be with you live on Friday because we will be at uh, Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica sharing the gospel and dodging bullets. Um, deeper conference is coming up in October. <laughs> that was that was good. You like that? Mm. Yeah, deeper conference is coming up. Registration is open. The conference is uh, October 14th and 15th. We will be at Calvary Community Church in Westlake Village. Please go to deeperconference.com. Register now. <coughs> Register often, not for yourself, but for others who you plan to bring. And this Look year, at the eyes light up when I said register often. <laughs> yeah, is still in the room? No, he's gone. Hey, we have, uh, we have a special guest in the studio with us. Very Dean, special guest. Dean Crenshaw. Dean is <coughs> a graduate from the Ambassadors Academy, and he comes down from time to time to visit, bingi- bringing the best pastries in the world. Where are they? Uh, you know, they're upstairs being devoured by Mark Spence right now. I wasn't told. Yes. You, do, you weren't? No, I didn't get the okay. memo. You act like you're pointing a gun. No, I was just going to say we need a, a, some sort of camera that can go over the studio audience and pan it so we can find uh, Dean in the studio audience sometime. Yeah. I don't know how exciting a studio audience of one, though, would be. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you did just I blow a, it? You blew oh, it. Oh, sorry. Pan over the, the studio crowd audience. It goes wild. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, we welcome Dean here. All right. Um, this week's winners for last week's giveaway are uh, third prize, five packs of celebrity youth, teen, young people, millions, <laughs> goes to Stacy Salvadori of Hidden Valley Lake, California. <laughs> Keep that picture up for the rest of the program. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Second prize, the blue book on evangelism goes to Andrew Austin of Janesville, Wisconsin. And the grand prize, hardcover edition of the Evidence Bible goes to Aaron Osmus of Waxahachie. 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 Wax on, wax off, and sun the floor from Waxahachie, (laughs) Texas. That's Indian country, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. Brad, is that Indian country? Waxahachie? Is that an Indian name? Oh! (laughs) <laughs> to the bunker, the bunker boys. Oh boy. Brad lived in Texas for many, many years, but Texas is a big place. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can live in parts of Texas and not actually meet everybody in Texas. That's true. It's, it's kind of a pretty big place. So, 
All right. Uh, what is uh, pretty? For this week's giveaway, uh, enter at ontheboxoflivingwaters.com. Full name, full address, and your zip code, please. Only enter once. Only enter once. If I see your name multiple times, I delete all your entries. I have the power. Third prize will be one pack of giant money. Yeah. You know, I didn't run these by uh, Daniel to actually find out how much I was giving away, but uh, one pack of giant money. He's laughing, too, like I should have done that. Second prize is a great DVD called God of Wonders. Uh, oh, it is very good. Wonderful DVD. It is. And first prize will be the full-size open-air version of the Ray Comfort Special Lie Detector Test. Hmm. Oh, you're wondering, too, how much I've spent on this giveaway, too, <laughs> you're the big boy. Ooh, I'm in trouble. Okay, just keep that up the whole time. Oh, yeah. No, well, not, not just yet. And we do have a Brad sighting for you. Can you see it? <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Tina, I took that picture today, and Brad and I are standing behind my iPhone. Oh, this? This picture? Yeah, and if you look real closely, Brad's on the left, I'm on the right. And that's and the our reflection. Brad yeah. you know, and the reflection well, off you, the lie detector. You know that the mother of the lie detectors, detectors is in our store. The mother of the lie detector the, is in your the, store. The, in our in store. In our store. Yeah. yeah we'll pass <laughs> What's it her you. name? <laughs> <laughs> it's the big magnet. The oh, oh, that's right. Yes. I thought you'd be attracted to it. It's, it's very <laughs> powerful. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. With all the metal plates in my head, I try to stay away from magnets. Ah, uh, we got a lot to do today. And I don't know if we're going to get it done in 20 minutes, but we're going to try. Here we go. Hang on. You know, I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to yell today in anger at all. But on Tuesday and Wednesday shows, yeah. I'm not yelling in anger. What are you looking at, Greg? I'm not yelling in anger. It's, I'm just it's, it's horrible. It's adrenaline. Tomorrow. But, but yeah. tomorrow is horrible. Wednesday is bad. Mm. We're going to be showing some videos over the next couple of days that will make grown Christians scream. Yeah. We'll be angry and, and not Christians sin. Christians want to scream. We'll be angry and not sin. We'll be, yes, it will be mm. righteous indignation. Mm. And I hope what comes out of my mouth is consistent with righteous indignation. So that's a teaser, but it's that's a, a teaser. That's a teaser. I was going to say genuine one, but they're all genuine. Yeah, because yeah, we really don't know from day to day what we're going to do anyways. Okay. Uh, what was it? Last Friday, I think, we showed the video of the skate guys doing the parachute analogy. Oh, that's right. Yes, we and, got the permission. Uh, one of the greatest compliments is for someone to repeat something you do or say. And mm -hmm. So it was pretty neat to see another organization put together a really uh, quality video on the parachute analogy. Right. Uh, we had a brother come to the academy last year. Uh, his name is Anthony Martin. He goes by Tony. Oh, yes. But Anthony Martin. Anthony Martin is an escape artist. Now, I learned something at the Academy when I met him. Uh, one, that he can escape from anything. But two, I was separated at birth from a twin brother. Who, who was that? Who happened to be named Tony. Yeah. I think we have a picture of that, that uh, reunion we had at the Academy. Don't we, Brad? You, it was your idea, Brad. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Pressure. There you go. See? Look. Oh, from the I'm, back. I'm on the left, and the other Anthony is on the right. And that I mean, got really the same <laughs> you know, male pattern baldness. There's a Brad sighting there, too. He's <laughs> everywhere. Where's Brad? Why, am, why is, is Brad look, of Living Waters. He looked a little blurred. He, well, Brad blurred. Yeah, yeah he, anyway. He got and, a lot of sleep. So Tony, he's Martin so, Tony Martin is crazy. I'm trying, is crazy. I'm trying to talk him out of killing himself. But he says no. Not he says, he says, no, he's, he's not he's, suicidal, uh, technically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he jumps out of planes in boxes, yes. in, in straight jackets, in yes. boxes, and handcuffs jumps in up. boxes. Yes, handcuff chained. And recently, he took a picture for you of him reading Hell's Best Kept Secret. Take a look at this. You don't see that every day. I call and him. that's not green screen work, my friends. No. That is the <laughs> earth underneath him. I, I, I wrote to him and says, the Photoshop is great. He said, that is not Photoshop. He no. said, that's moving at 150 miles an hour. So he likes speed reading. Yeah. <laughs> speed. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. yeah. We went to Transform this weekend. Yes. Down at Oceanside, uh, uh, Calvary Chapel. Do you have Tony's uh, website address? Yeah, or oh, not? No, let's put that up. Did we put that we up? We could just say it if we haven't got it really. Anthony but it's Dash escapes. You know, those are always oh, for, good. for webmasters. You, okay, it's gone. There you go. I hope you wrote that down. I hope you are fast. Because that one's going at, at 150 speed miles an hour. reading. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Dash escapes.com is uh, Anthony Martin's uh, web address. He goes out and, he's, and he does these amazing uh, escapes and then he presents the gospel yeah. in a biblical way. He loves afterwards. the ministry. And, yeah. uh, he has escaped, I think, from like 150 jails. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, really. I mean, he's got no, no, he's no, got no legally. Legally, well, yes. He gets himself invited into a jail, and then they chain him up and lock him up and tie him down and do all other kind of things. You know, he should get himself arrested and escape. That would be funny. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I wonder what his mom does. You know, whenever she knows he calls, you know, from 10,000 you know, people. He, mom, he, I'm jumping out. He was a premature baby. <laughs> he escaped early. <laughs> we need a rim shot for the show. We need a rim shot sound effect. All right. We went to Transformed. And uh, there was no escaping transform, nor did no. we want to. No, it was such that's a great great. Conference. One of our smaller conferences, we had about 450 people there. Mm -hmm. But what a great day. It was. It was wonderful. Great and, people, uh, great pastor. Mike Reed, Pastor Mike Reed, uh, got a picture of him up there as well. Brad's searching for it. <laughs> he searching looks very much like us. Dude, yeah. He's been pastoring there for 21 years. And uh, his life story is just amazing. He It'll break, you'll break out and sweat listening to him. Yeah, I, he uh, had some 30 blood transfusions as a child because he had some very serious uh, illness. He's a survivor of a liver transplant. They give you five to seven years mm -hmm. after a liver yeah, transplant. He less, than one percent, nine. less than 1% to live when he, right. was, when he was 10 years yes. old. And all before he came to faith in Christ. Yeah. And uh, now the Lord has him pastoring a wonderful church down in Oceanside. He's and, a great guy. Yeah, and we want to just say thanks to uh, all of the folks down there at Calvary Chapel Oceanside. You were wonderful hosts. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a great afternoon and it was a great warm up for what we did. You forgot there. again. The pastor took us to in and out and he paid did. for the meal. Yes, he did. Which was really yes, he nice. Did. So that is Calvary Chapel Oceanside. I don't know if he does that for all visitors to the church. It is a large church. But <laughs> he just, takes them out to a nice yeah. restaurant normally. Yeah, just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you saying? You say, are you saying that in and out was a sign as to how, a barometer as to how the conference went in the past? Yes, life? he just loved us that much. Well, okay, that's right. Because that's better than a big restaurant. Place. Yes. I'm talking 150 miles an hour today. Why? Because we got so much to do. All right. We went down to Comic-Con. I learned something about Comic-Con after we went to Comic-Con. It is the largest conference in the world. Really? They do two a year, one in New York, uh, one in San Diego, and uh, the one in San Diego is actually bigger than the one in New York. A testament to how big it was is Cedric, who did this tract, was Had there. A, yeah. He was there. He was there. I didn't know he was there. He didn't know we were there. Oh, really? He emailed me afterwards. He said, wish we'd known we were there. We would have come, come and said hi. Yeah, and he should have brought like 10,000 of his tracks yes. with him because we ran out. We did. I mean, it, there was... Thousands and thousands and thousands. What do you? I'm sorry. Am I interrupting your conversation back there, guys? What? <laughs> Cedric. Cedric. He, he he did the. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember Cedric's last name? Hold or stop. No, I don't. I'm a Cedric, the good person guy. Yes. That's how I pronounce his last name. Cedric, the good person guy. They're they're, they're having their own show back there. Yeah. They don't care about distracting the guys up in front of the camera. No, they're there. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we started the day by getting on. Now, you guys are going to have to pay real close attention, right? Because, well, okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, we started by getting on a trolley. Yeah. Remember the trolley? I remember the trolley. Now, didn't you get some video of what happened on the trolley? I did. Yeah? Yes. Of it's in the both camera. me and Mike? Yes. Yeah? You and Mike. Maybe we'll, you maybe we'll show that sometime? Yeah. Well, this is what happened. We'll we got on a trolley, you. and we didn't want to wait to get to the convention center to preach. So Mike Stockwell got things started with some open-air preaching on the trolley. Uh, some people uh, don't like preaching to a captive audience. Uh, Mike has never met an audience he didn't want to preach to. Well, he's well trained. He is well. I, 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 Just I, move trained, on. Trolley trained. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to. Okay. Hmm. I didn't even notice. I um, Mike started preaching, and uh, the heckling was quick to ensue. And the look of some of the members on our team uh, was a bit disconcerting. Joy? No. No, it wasn't joy. It was. Fear. Oh. It was unabashed. Oh, they're actually going to preach on this trolley. <laughs> <laughs> and so once Mike finished, um, the crowd thought we were done. Mm -hmm. And then I started. And uh, it was good to tag team preach with Mike. And um, But yeah, we, got, we had some interesting hecklers on the trolley. Uh, people were trying to speed dial the police. One lady was knocking on a window as we came up to one stop. Um, <laughs> and, and these windows are like bulletproof, triple thick. And there's some police officers, you know, across the way, and she's knocking on the window. I said, ma'am, they're not going to come. <laughs> they're just not going to come. Uh, we're just exercising free speech on the So, what's so. Mike's a big guy, isn't he? Mike is a big guy. He's got a big chest and big biceps, and no one's going to really seriously heckle him. Someone did try to choke him out. Oh, really? Uh, no, not this last weekend. Mm. But all he did was tighten up his neck, and I think he broke the person's thumb. <laughs> 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 yeah, that makes but that's, sense. But that's Mike. It's good having Mike on... Good to have a mic on your on your team, and then we we when we got down off the uh, trolley, then it was the, we're trying to make a decision. Okay, where are we going to go? Yeah, and you picked the first spot. And we have uh, a picture of that there, and you spent your whole time there at this yes, park, we did. right? Yes. So tell us, Ray, what happened over there? It was a good time. Uh, it was like a, a be at Huntington Beach. 
A well, beer at Huntington Beach. Yeah, it was a good day. Uh, although the trolley, <clears throat> see how close the trolley yeah. is? It would clang, 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 clang as it went past about every five minutes, which was annoying. Uh, I had a Satanist get up there and said he loved the way of the master because it drove people to, people to Satanism. <laughs> really? Now, didn't you call him a chicken? Yeah. How'd that go, Ray? It uh, went down well. All Satanists are chickens. Yeah? They're, they're losers. They serve the devil. All right, then. Yeah. We're the winners. Yeah, but there's... <clears throat> I think we have a second picture of Ray preaching, too. That, that, now, this guy, this was the first guy... Um, so I don't he know a, looks him. like he's wearing a mask or something, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah, they were all dressed up down there. There's some yeah. interesting, uh, interesting folks down there, but... You know, most of us, if we go out there and open an air preach and we call, you know, Satanist chickens, hmm. there's probably going to be, I don't know, fisticuffs or something. I mean, why is it that you get away with it? Is it the accent? or It's the height. It's the height. It's not worth a fisticuff. It's <laughs> 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 now, you had that happen, right? I mean, someone actually considered hitting you, and then they looked at you, and they said... Not worth it. No, see. Okay. Uh, then a group of us uh, went over to a uh, corner across the street uh, from the trolley. And uh, we started preaching. There's Mike. If you look closely, under the tree, left uh, center side of the picture, one hand up in the air. Yeah, that's Mike. We had crowds like that for three hours, Ray. Is Zacchaeus up the tree there? Uh, no. <coughs> but, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> we went over there thinking we were just going to do some stoplight preaching. So you, you know? had some great crowds. That looks the wonderful. Whole day. I mean, three hours nonstop. So went you through. had a B plus. Yeah, we had, a, we had a B plus. I think we got another one there, too, of the crowd as, as well. No, that's not the crowd. That's Ray and Tony. <coughs> Tony Ray. Oh, oh, yes. Get to this next one. This, uh, we had some transformed participants out there with us. Yes, a couple. yes. Oh, you had some over with yes, you as well? Yes, we did too. Okay. They were very excited well, to we see them. We had a, uh, a middle-aged couple out there with us. We're, and, you know, the crowd's so big, you don't know if you have friends or foes over mm -hmm. there. Um, it would be the transformed participant one that Brad is uh, looking for right now. There you go. Okay, that's the second one. I was going to build, build up to that one. Is she well, this is the lady that went to the uh, transformed conference. And uh, she was there just to watch. She had never done anything like this before. Never handed out tracks, never saw open air preaching. And within a minute, Mike has her up on the box preaching, holding a track. Oh, she's on the box. Yeah, oh, that's great. I thought yeah. she was tall. Yeah, that's so great. So that was neat to, to have. Uh, and that's Mike in the foreground. That's Mike in the Wearing foreground. Wearing a nice big green hat. No. Oh, it was, no, a, tree. was a tree. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is her before she open air preached. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah. And that, that is not a, that's a good conversation happening. She kind of looks intense, uh, she but does. she was just passionate about hearing the gospel preach. She was that's very blessed. Wonderful. And it was blessed, blessing to have them out there. The hecklers were intense. Is they more, well, they were intense. They have that in uh, Huntington Beach, too, when they show intense. up. Yeah. yeah, no, they, okay, they were angry. Uh, this uh, first one was an angry witch. I so you're going to show some more pictures? Herself. Yes, we're going to show more pictures of the angry witch. Very cool. Yes. I like yes. pictures. Now we're going to show pictures of the angry witch. <laughs> That's the angry witch. You're leaving? No, I'm... Oh, okay. <laughs> just turning on the air? Okay, I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> chaos! It was chaos down at the convention center, and it's chaos <laughs> in the studio today. But she started... She started... I forget who was on the box at the moment, but she started heckling and complaining that what we were doing wasn't Christian. She's as if she was a Christian. She, yeah. But as she's leaving, she's giving us a one-finger wave and announcing that she's a witch. She's telling you that you're number one. Yeah, I mean, how would you... I mean, can you imagine that? I'm bringing her home. Mom, I'd like you to meet. Oh, <laughs> no. And then we had a rabbit, a rabid rabbit. And apparently this is a real popular cartoon character. Um, I just thought it was psychotic. But uh, So someone's preaching. Someone's preaching. Uh, Bill McCarty's preaching. And you're standing there and ready I'm to grab if that ready rabbit. Ready to grab the rabbit. In case he tries to bite <laughs> the preacher. Okay. Right. And uh, he <coughs> came out with his own sound, uh, sound team. Who did? The rabbit? The rabbit. The, the, the sound guy well, there What's the rabbit doing with the sound team? Well, the rabbit wasn't talking, so they were recording the preaching for some oh, reason. Oh, that's so great. It'll be on uh, You'll get that, that sort of protective look, uh, you know, your body really? language. Oh, yeah, I can see yeah. that. Yeah. Well, it was it was a B-plus for me. I mm. mean, I don't have as many years of the streets <coughs> as you, so my B-pluses are a little more liberal than yours, probably. So it was a it was a B-plus for me. Right. Up until one moment. <coughs> what happened? Well, Ray... I'm just going to show the video and then we'll... So what is there not on this show? There's no kissing on this show. We've always said that. We've always said that. So let's see. Up until now. It can be to steal. And to steal is to break God's law. Those who break God's law deserve His punishment, which is eternal separation from Him in a place of torment called hell. But I'm here, friends, not to give you bad news, but to give you good news. If you understand the fact that you've broken God's law, then the good news is this. God has provided a way for you to escape the punishment that you deserve. 
Jesus Christ came to earth 2,000 years ago, sent by the Father, born of a virgin, truly man and yet truly God. Jesus Christ lived the sinless life that we cannot. He defeated sin by leaving, living a sinless life and then dying an unjust death on a Roman cross. After three days in the grave, he rose again in bodily form to prove that he had defeated sin and death. So the good news, friends, is that God does not demand that we defeat sin. He has defeated sin for us. What he does demand is that we repent, that we acknowledge our sins, that we express sorrow from our sins, that we turn from our sins to place our faith in Jesus Christ alone. God says that those who place their faith in Jesus Christ, he will in no wise cast out. And Jesus himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Friends, place your faith in Jesus Christ. Repent and be saved. Recognize your need of a Savior. Recognize the fact that you have broken God's law. We've each of us broken God's law. Repent and be Ray, I've never been kissed by a heckler. Have you been kissed by a heckler? Have I fi do I finally have one up on Ray Comfort? Have you been kissed by a heckler? Yeah, uh, I've had a woman try and kiss me once. I fought her off for 20 minutes. 20 minutes? <laughs> I'm kidding. I it was, harder, it was, apparently. It, it was in Texas. <laughs> well, it was funny. They try harder in really, Texas, I guess. Really. Yeah. Um, Oh, that was interesting. Yeah, yeah. So he was, was he pleased? He was saying, I'm pleased no, to hear what you guys are no, doing. No, 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 no. And here's the thing. As crazy as that video <clears throat> is, what's crazier is what's going on on our blog at onthebox.us. There you go. Onthebox.us. It's the co uh, more than tw about 2,200 views mm. of the blog post of this incident since yesterday morning. Oh. And the comment stream is... Crazy, of course, there's the usual cast of atheists yucking it up. Oh, you know, yes. I think it's real funny. But people are, I mean, it's like they're watching some type of uh, police video on the evening news, and they're trying to justify the criminal. Mm. And, they're, oh, you know, how can you tell that he was staring at you through the sunglasses? Anybody notice that there was, you know, six millimeters between the two of us? I mean, yes. I could see into the guy's <laughs> eyes. And uh, they say, oh, well, he was on the cell phone. He was probably just letting someone hear the gospel. Yeah, he had a phone up to his ear, but he wasn't talking to anybody. He never talked to anybody anybody before he walked up he mm. didn't talk to anybody after he walked up he just held the phone up to his uh, up to his ear uh he was very very intense and i can assure you that when he put his arms around me there wasn't any love going on there it wasn't no and uh someone mentioned some said something behind me after he not right now right that day i'm just pointing back there to give it to And uh, he tried to make his way back to someone else on the team, and I, you know, politely mm -hmm. stopped him. But what a lot of people <coughs> haven't picked up on is what he did at the end of that video. That's crazy. What, against the lights? He walked right through traffic, not <laughs> even blinking an eye. He just walked right through. I think he stopped slightly towards the end for one car. Well, remember, but otherwise, he's just walking right by. We're at Comic-Con. He thought he was Superman. No, I, there was something. The invisible there was man. Something not right with that guy. Yeah. And, and I made some tactical mistakes. Well, obviously, it was because he kissed you. <laughs> something not right. <laughs> something not right with that guy. <laughs> oh, you got Greg Elsasser laughing on that one. He thinks he's a comedian. So, um, the uh, where did I go? Oh, I made so, I made a tactical mistake when mm -hmm. the guy started walking away. I sarcastically said, "Thanks for dropping by," which caused him to turn around. And then I extended my hand to shake his hand. Probably not another good move. And that's when he bear hugged me and planted a big wet one on my right cheek. Um, so, yeah. So I, I, was, I let so. a little pride get in there, a little bit of the flesh get in there, and I end up getting a rather fleshly kiss. Well, we'll be warned. So. If you ever say thanks to us for dropping by, we'll know what not to do. Not to kiss me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that made for a... That made for a real interesting day, and uh, I couldn't get fast enough. That to was a Z minus. That was a Z minus. Yeah, yeah. I promised my wife I wouldn't kiss her until I washed my face. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right. Anything you want to add about the weekend? No. We went. Uh, Greg went down there. Greg was telling I me this morning. Had a good morning. time. Great fellowship. Oh, never mind. Go ahead. It's good to get home. <laughs> <laughs> Greg said uh, he, he had a bunch of great one-to-one -one conversations uh, throughout the day. Oh, he had a great time. He was absolutely thrilled. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we talked about it on the way, on the way back. And we had, uh, I don't know, we probably had 20 or 30 people down there with us all total. Hmm. And uh, we, the family that was sitting in on the show uh, last <coughs> week from Vegas who was going to Transform. Nice people. They went down there. Mm -hmm. um, you're up on, fa on their Facebook page. You took mm -hmm. some photos with them. But, yeah, it was, it was a great day. We're going to go folks. back next year, Ray. We're going to go back. Okay. Not for an afternoon, though. We're going to go back. I'm, 
haven't run this by you yet. Maybe I'll do it now since we got the pressure of the show. But <laughs> it's really got me thinking about doing the Academy a little differently next year. Oh, do it down there? Well, maybe down there and maybe a few other places around the country like that. Get a hotel room. Yeah. Take yeah. everyone into it. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. Well, you like yeah. that? Yeah. 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 Okay. We'll have more on that in a little bit. Okay. We're about out of time. We're not even going to get to the mailbag, uh, so it gives us more to talk about tomorrow. Greg looks concerned. Greg, you are a distraction back there, man. I'm just telling you. Yeah, really. Tomorrow, we've got one more picture for you. Um, tomorrow, we're going to talk about another incident that happened at Comic-Con. It won't take the whole show. We've got a lot of other things to talk about. But uh, show this uh, last picture. That is uh, me and uh, Mike Stockwell <coughs> having a conversation with one of San Diego's finest. And you will not believe what bothered him. And so we will share that with you tomorrow. And I'm going to have the story up on the blog uh, as soon as we're uh, done with the show. So you can uh, uh, get the uh, full story. But we're going to be talking about that tomorrow. Plus, that was a good little teaser. That was a good teaser. Plus, mm. we're going to show a video tomorrow. Uh, I, have, I have yet to have a video make me as angry. The camera will start steaming up. Yeah. I have yet to <coughs> have a video make me as angry as the video that we are going to show you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. You know what? We might have time for one question. Could you give us some pointers on airplane evangelism during this time of heavy travel? I wouldn't suggest <laughs> Tony Martin's approach of jumping out of planes to evangelize, but... Planes are great places to, to, to witness to people. How come and what do you do? <coughs> what do you, firstly, it's very, very important that when the person comes and sits next to you, you say something to them. Break the ice, because the ice will get thicker the longer you sit next to them. You'll think, this guy is cold, he's horrible. So if you can say, hi, I'm... I say, I'm Ray, because that's my name. I say, I'm Ray, where are you from? And he'll say, I'm Fred, I'm from San Diego. I say, oh, yeah, what do you do for a job? And he'll tell me what he does for a job. So I make sure I remember his name's Fred, write it down, and what he does for a job. So in the, further in the, into the flight, half an hour in, when he's rested up and had his food, when he's in a good mood, I say, so, Tom, tell me what do you Tom? Fred. Tell me what you do. <laughs> tell me about your job. You're sitting in the middle. You got Tom on one side, Fred on the other. Yeah, you find out who's the more open. There you go. Yeah, good. Good Thank point. You. Thank you for, for saving me. Yeah, yeah so uh, so you got time to build up. And then just say, Tom, Fred, what, Eric, whatever it is. <laughs> Eric. Eric's in Yeah, it says in front. <laughs> yeah. um, I got a question for you. What do you think happens after someone dies? And you'll know that if you've got an open heart or not yeah. from that point. And would you recommend not... Starting with an airplane crash analogy on a plane. Yeah, that would be that's ideal. That's ideal not yes, to use not to use, not that. To use the airplane mm -hmm. crash analogy. All mm -hmm. right, we are out of time. It has been a wild show. Uh, I want to thank all of you for joining us and for the guys behind the camera for putting up with us today. Always good sports, great team that we have. Uh, but yeah, you're definitely going to want to <coughs> tune in tomorrow to hear what that police officer said to us down there in San Diego and to see one of the worst videos ever created by clergy. Until then, be encouraged, strengthened, and unafraid. Proclaim the gospel. Yeah, follow that! Living Waters presents On the Box.